We are called The Wild, and we own a dog sled tour company in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. After a long winter, we decided to escape the snow and head south for a little sunshine. My biggest mistake of this trip was canceling our rental car from Miami to Key West before we left. It's a long story, but if you're a couple planning any type of vacation, you might understand how that could have happened. Luckily, there's a bus system that runs directly from Miami down to Key West. It's much less expensive and pretty easy to navigate. But for now, here's a small look at Key West. Over the course of a few days, we were able to find a few hidden gems with the help of some friends and get stuck in a few tourist traps along the way. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have additional recommendations for visiting Key West, please leave them in the comments below for other travelers to see. We made it to Key West. We took a Greyhound bus and it was kind of my fault because I canceled our car reservation. And it turns out <laughs> you cannot get a car rental out of Miami right now. Uh, any, or like, really anywhere like, nationally like, it's a car shortage but definitely not in, like nowhere in Miami had any last minute car rentals so we opted for the cheaper option and took the Greyhound bus and it was a little sketchy at first but ended up being a really nice bus ride super great driver yep and then we got here and went on a jet ski tour with Barefoot Phillies Max was our guide it was a fantastic tour um, if you are not afraid of driving motor sport <laughs> vehicles, highly, highly recommend getting your own, what is it called? Jet, jet ski. Jet ski. <laughs> and uh, going with them. It was a great time. And go to the front of the group if you want to go fast. Yeah. Now we're walking to Pepe's Cafe on the other side of the island. Pepe's. So this was a recommendation from my friend Cam that uh, we were at Back Roads with. And I'm super excited because there's already memorabilia with caps on it, so I think I'm going to like this place. favorite restaurant in Key West and gave us a much more local feel than many of the other flashy restaurants in town. Is it good? It's really good. It doesn't have the flavor of Dungeness, but you get so much for, you know, that one shot. Many of the restaurants you'll see in this video were recommended to me by my friend Cam, who I used to work with at Backroads. One of my employees from this winter used to work in the circus and told us that many people from the circus go down to Key West and work as street performers during the winter. Having a little bit of background information on that world made this experience even more special to us, but we would recommend it to anyone. And as with every service-based job, don't forget to tip well if you go. Deep sea fishing has always been a bucket list item of mine, so we booked a tour with Cowboy Cowgirl Charters, and we highly recommend them. But here's a pro tip. Even if you've spent a lot of time on boats before, bring Dramamine. Michael ended up getting incredibly seasick, but lucky for me, he was a great sport, and by the time we got on dry land, felt much better. I ended up hooking a massive blackfin tuna who put up quite the fight, we met some great people, and at the end of the trip, they even filleted our fish to take home. Oh, 
just casually carrying around a bag of fish. Many restaurants will actually cook your catch for you for a fee. We'll list a few of the ones that do below. It's kind of hard to see, but we went to that restaurant, Contra Public. I uh, took our fish, we still have in there. <laughs> um, and they cooked it for us, which was pretty cool. And we got a lot of sides and you get a lot of food. So definitely a pretty good deal. You catch your own fish. I never in a million years thought that we would be going fishing and that we would eat fish that the we same, caught. Like two hours later. And it was- It's not even, no. What? It was delicious. Yep. Okay, now we're gonna go get coffee from a Cuban coffee place. Cuban coffee. Gotta say how good it is. It's definitely one of the best days coffee is a bad. So we woke up late this morning, late start to the day. Yeah, the and, last couple of days have kind of beat us up. Yeah, but now it's midday and we are heading to the southernmost spot in the US. Is that it? Yeah. In the US. Or at least in Florida. Or we'll at least find in out when we get there. I don't know. There. We're gonna go find it. So in my humble opinion, not worth waiting in line to get a picture right next to the thing. But it is a tourist attraction, so it's not a huge shock that there would be a line. Yes, I'm not shocked there's a line. <laughs> I am saying that if you were on the corner of that street, you get a photo almost the exact same as being right next to the thing. So you can't be right next and to it. And the coolest part is that the bell isn't that cool. What's cool is about the cable and the underground telephone system. That's cooler than so basically, Michael's no fun. <laughs> um, my theory on tourist attractions is if you can see it, even though there's a line, it's probably worth waiting. And if you can't see it, then it's probably not worth it. Also, we did find out it was the southernmost point in the continental US. We are headed to see six toed cats at Hemingway's house. This is what I was most looking forward to in Key West. And Probably Abby's gonna Key try West. and pet a cat. I think this place might mean a little more if either Michael or I had read any of these books, but it was a really cool uh, historic experience. I did learn some things about them, but mostly we just paid a lot of money to pet cats. <laughs> Firefly. 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 And it was 
probably one of the better meals, we have. meals we've ever had. Yeah, the shrimp and grits, really, really good. Yeah, and then I got the chicken sandwich that was almost just perfectly cooked, and then it came with the some of the best pickles I've had. They were super big. Yep, so definitely come here. Okay, key lime pie covered in chocolate. And frozen. Is it the good? Mm-hmm. Oh, very good. Michael just got regular key lime pie. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Is it the best key lime pie you've ever had? No. <laughs> or was the best one? I think Pepe's yeah. so far. I think so too. But it's good. Walking out to the edge of this pier. It's a marine park, but it's kind of hard to see anything right now because it's pretty choppy today. Kind of dirty. I wonder if that's just because the weather. <laughs> Try some. You gotta dip it in the sauce. This is how the guy said to do it. Is it good? Our last full day in Key West, we decided to make a beach day, so we headed over to Fort Zachary State Park. Our original plan included snorkeling around the famous rocks out there, and you can rent snorkel gear directly from the beach. However, if it is cloudy or choppy like it was on the day that we went, we wouldn't recommend doing this as it was pretty hard to see anything. chili dog I was ever ate. Our favorite part of this beach ended up being the historic fort, which is included in your entrance fee. We're touring Zach Fort, Zach Zachary. Fort Zachary State Park. State Park. And this is where they made all the weapons. What'd you get? Fish and chips. It's mm -hmm. close stock. This is the best fish and chips you've had. That might be a stretch, but it's good. Checking out of Key West. Abby got Cafe con Leche. Mm -hmm. Which is Cuban coffee with lots of sugar and steamed milk. 
All right, Michael ordered the hangover. <laughs> Are you hungover? No, but <laughs> I figured it looked good. Looks good. And I got the egg, pork, and cheese sandwich. Michael, are you glad that I decided to bring a water bottle with us on this yeah. trip? This water bottle is going to be pretty handy. Yeah. And it saves the planet. Espresso. Mm. Mm. Have you always wanted an espresso machine like that? They look cool. You never said you wanted an espresso machine. I've seen them online. It's what all the YouTubers have. Okay. Well, now since we're YouTubers, we better get an espresso machine in our off-grid cabin. 